Turning now to other news, Massachusetts lawmakers voted last week to override their governor's veto of an extreme abortion bill, meaning that measure is now law in the state. The bill, known as the Roe Act, legalizes abortion up to birth, lowers the age to 16 for when girls can get abortions without a parent's knowledge or consent, and codifies abortion into the state law. Republican Governor Charlie Baker, who is pro-abortion, vetoed the bill on Christmas Eve, saying he, quote, cannot support expanding the availability of later-term abortions and permitting 16- and 17-year-olds to get abortions without their parents' consent. The Democratic-controlled state House and Senate voted to override the veto days later. Myrna Maloney Flynn is president of Massachusetts Citizens for Life, one of the leading pro-life groups opposing this abortion law. She joins us now on Skype. Myrna, welcome to the show. I wish it were for a happier occasion. Your group has called the Roe Act the Infanticide Act. Why is that? Well, thank you for having me here today, Catherine. It's a pleasure. And as you said, I wish it were under more pleasant circumstances. Um, the Roe Act, one of, one of the main provisions within this newly uh, approved law, sadly, is uh, that a baby who survives an abortion here in the state of Massachusetts is no longer protected as a citizen of this state because the Roe Act uh, while it requires life-saving medical equipment to be in a room where an abortion is performed, the law is written in such a way that releases the abortionist from actually having to use that medical equipment mm -hmm. to save the baby's life. And mm -hmm. we've seen this kind of legislation recently in states like Virginia, where we heard the governor there say essentially that a baby who survives an abortion uh, should be allowed to simply pass away right then and there. And sadly, that same provision is now law here in Massachusetts. Mm. I understand you have been lobbying against this bill, which is now law, for two years. Were there any successes along the way? Absolutely, yes, there were. It's been a very busy, strenuous two years, but we have seen an enormous response to our call for support, a response to our efforts to educate the general public about this bill. We, we ramped up our education efforts very soon after this bill was filed in the winter of 2019. And as soon as people uh, on both sides of this issue heard about what this bill would mean for the women of our state, for the girls of our state, and for the infants of Massachusetts, they jumped to action. They wanted to know how they could get involved and how they could help put a stop to this bill. And so we not only saw a huge response to our call, but as a result of our supporters calling their legislators, emailing legislators, and sharing the information we were sharing with them, with their neighbors, we were able to change the wording of this bill so that girls as young as 12 mm. were protected. The initial version of this bill would have allowed girls of any age to walk into an abortion clinic, obtain an abortion without any other adult knowing about it. Because of our efforts, we were able to change the wording so that the age uh, for consent is now 16. Wow. So mm. parents, sadly, have had their rights taken away if their 16 or 17 year old daughters wish to obtain an abortion. Mm -hmm. However, because of our work, because of the steadfast advocacy and activism of our supporters across the state, girls who are 12, yeah. 13 and 14 years old are still safe and must it, still have parents. It could have been parents. a lot worse. Myrna, can you tell our audience where Republican Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker stands on the abortion issue? He is pro-abortion and yet he vetoed this bill. Yes, that's correct. Even Governor Baker thought that this bill went too far. Even he believed that parents should have the right to protect their own underage daughters. He felt that allowing abortions up to birth, which this bill now does, is wrong. He felt that an infant who is viable deserves protection. He thinks that this new law is too extreme. And again, as you said, 
Governor Baker has has made no um, qualms about his views on abortion. Mm -hmm. He is pro-abortion. Right. Yeah, even he believed throughout the past two years that this legislation was That's too, too extreme. extreme. Where, Myrna, can our viewers go to find out more information and follow your work? Well, we welcome uh, any support that viewers would like to give at MadCitizensForLife.org. Uh, excuse me, MadProLife, M-A, ProLife.org. We have many resources there for people who want to get involved, who want to become educated, and we welcome any support that your viewers would like to give us. Excellent, and we have that website on the screen as well. Myrna Maloney Lynn, president of Massachusetts Citizens for Life, thank you for your time and for coming on this week. Thank you, Catherine. Take care.